Hi, I'm from Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the heirloom style doll cradle with bedding. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For steps one and steps two, you will need a two of part A, which are the ends. You will need two of part B's, which are the sides. You will need part C, which is the bottom, and you will need eight of the H screws. So what I'm going to be doing is combining steps one and steps two to make this a little bit easier for assembly. So when looking at this side here, you're going to see this large hole. This is the top. When looking here at these screw holes, just the simple screw holes are going to be the middle where everything is going to be coming off from. If you look on the other side, these are more indented screw holes. This is the outside. So everything is going to be coming off from this side. What we're going to be doing is putting these side rails onto these holes here, lining them up. Now when looking at the side, you're going to see one of the sides that has a groove here and these inserts. This is going to go towards the inside. So we want the groove on the bottom rail facing towards the inside. So you're going to have both of these facing towards each other, the two grooves facing towards each other and the inserts facing towards each other like so. So now these two holes on the end are going to align with these two holes on the side. So we're going to be putting them on like so. Then we'll screw from this side all four screws to make these sides go onto the side end panel here. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a drill to make it a little bit easier. If you choose to use a drill, please have the torque setting set on low so that it doesn't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So let's get all of these screwed into place. So if you put these sides in correctly, you should have this groove on the bottom rails that are facing towards each other. This is where the bottom panel is going to be sliding into place to create the bottom of the cradle. To make this a little bit easier, I like to stand it up on its side so that I can just slide the panel going straight down. Now when looking at the bottom panel, usually one side will have the sticker. Just make sure that that's facing towards the bottom and that the, white, the plain white is just facing towards the top. So I'm going to take this bottom panel, put it right into the grooves, and slide it all the way down. Now the last thing we need to do is put the other end on the side here. So now you should have these four holes from the rails that will align with the four holes on this side. Again, remember the hole is facing upwards towards the top. You've got the indented pieces, which will be going towards the outside and the non-indented screw holes going in towards these rails. So I'm just going to lay this on top here and put all four screws going down. For step three, you will need part D, which is the stand, three of part E's, which are the rails, and three of the H screws. For this step, we're going to be creating the cradle base. When looking at part D, you're going to see this wooden piece right here. This is what's going to be the cradle support where the cradle will go on to. So this other side, you're going to have the inserted screw holes, so that'll be the outside, and then this will go towards the inside where the cradle is going to go off of. So these three screw holes down here are where these bottom rails are going to go into place. So each one is going to attach the long way um, going up and down into three of these holes. So when looking at these rails, you're going to see inserts. I would put the bottom two rails so that the inserts are facing inward towards each other so you don't see the inserts from the outside. This middle one um, won't matter which direction it goes. So what we're going to do is place all three of these into place like so, screwing from this side here.
For step four, you will need part D, the stand, and three of the H screws. So for this step, we're gonna be completing the cradle base and putting the cradle into place. So we're gonna take this part that we had built in the last step, I'm gonna tip it up on its side. Then what you're gonna do is take the cradle and you're going to insert this wooden dowel through this top hole here. So we're just gonna put it down into place. Then you're gonna take this other stand you have here. We're gonna place it on top, putting that wooden dowel through the hole on this side, and then aligning these three rails with these screw holes here, and we're gonna screw these three down into place. This is what's gonna hold the, all, the whole cradle all together here. For the last step, we're gonna be putting part F, which is the padded mattress, into the cradle here with the pillow, and putting part G, the blanket on top. And that concludes the assembly for the heirloom style doll cradle with bedding. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy!